I often get asked if I have any recommended go-to daily vocal exercises for straws. So in this video, I'm going to show you a brilliant warm-up routine that you can use every single day to help train your voice for singing. You're going to need a straw for this, so make sure you have your SOVT straw at the ready. If you're using a regular straw, make sure it offers the correct balance of resistance for your unique voice. Click here to learn more about finding the right straw for your voice. Just as a note, if an exercise is slightly too high or too low for your voice, that is totally fine. Just sing the bits that you're comfortable with and rest for everything else. Breathing drills. Breathing drills are a great way of feeling all of the core and chest muscles that you use in varying degrees when you sing. This helps you really warm the body up and get everything nicely engaged. Start by grabbing your preferred straw. We're going to do four bursts of breath followed by two longer breath sustains. The four bursts are quick and snappy. You're releasing your muscles in between so you allow air to flow back in before the next burst, but you're not necessarily forcing the air in yourself. The two longer breaths are to help you feel abdominal movement and chest expansion. We're going to start unvoiced first, so that means no pitch, just airflow. Great. Now we're going to voice some sound on exactly the same pattern, just like this. Just choose a pitch that works comfortably for you for now. We're going to add more complicated pitch work later on. Pitch glides. Pitch glides are a great way to train the voice, especially when you're using a straw. The following vocal exercise will help you smooth over your break for really blended register transitions. All you need to do is slide up and down in your range, making sure you're connecting all of the notes together as you move. Try this for at least 30 seconds and get a feel for how your voice wants to move up and down in range whilst using a straw. Once you're comfortable moving up and down a little bit, we're going to start exploring slightly higher and slightly lower notes. Do this for a minute or two, being really mindful of how your voice feels as you move across your range. As you're gliding up, Notice if there's any notes that feel particularly less smooth or less balanced. If you encounter some, try using a slightly different straw configuration to see if you can smooth over some of those notes. You might need slightly more resistance in your straw, you might need slightly less. Play about with it and see if you can really blend over those changes. One, three, five, eight, five, three, one, piano patterns. We're now going to start getting a little bit more complex with the exercises that we do. And so we're going to be looking at a one, three, five, eight, five, three, one piano pattern. This is such a great exercise for building on the work that we started with the pitch glides to help you really smooth over your transitions. But this time, we're using a more targeted sequence of notes. Plus, this exercise really helps to stretch the voice out, especially when you go up to the octave.
Don't forget, if it goes slightly too high for your voice, just chill out for a bit. There's no need to go higher if it's not comfortable. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, five, one pattern. We're going to pick up the pace a bit now, moving across our range with a one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one pattern. Then at the end, we're going to bounce back up to the fifth for a final stretch. This exercise is great for building in some vocal agility too, as it allows you to move up through to the fifth, then back down, and then you're gonna spring back up to the fifth again. Don't forget, if it goes slightly too high for your voice, just chill out for a bit. There's no need to go higher if it's not comfortable. I recommend doing this sequence of exercises every single day for a really rounded straw-based warm-up. This will help you smooth over your break, build vocal strength over time, and sing with ease. If this video helped you, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting down below, as it really does help the channel grow. Make sure you check out my one-minute voice tip videos for more information about straws and why they're so good for your voice.